Hi there, this is Dr. Everybody with Pro Project 7. And here you'll you'll see that Project 7 looks a lot like Project 6. Uh, we're, we're doing data science. Uh, we grab some real data, process it, display it, and, and that's that you know that that's what we do in the data-driven world that we live in today, whether you're an economist or a social scientist or a mechanical engineer or whatever. Grab some data, do something with it, and and uh, present uh, what you have done. Uh, so this time we're uh, we've grabbed some uh, TSA data, and what's different this time is that uh, we get to kind of see the ugliness that real data has. Uh, you know, we sort of hid you, hid that from you a little bit in, in the uh, previous projects, and, and here you you. Get to see it in its ugliness and now we've done a fair amount of the work uh, for you so for example we've decided all right there is good data for a certain number of years so that's all we're going to consider uh, and you've got to make a decision all right at what point do i decide that i have sufficient data that i want to include it in my analysis so we define that too um, and then you will see there's some weirdness in there in, in, in how some of the data is presented. Uh, I don't tell you how to deal with that, but I point out where you might see that and raise the question of why, why is that? And, and hopefully at this point it will be pretty clear to you why there, you know, sort of, sort of there's a, a reason in their madness there. And just for fun, um, uh, we, we have you grab, uh, you know, the you know, what is the largest claim that somebody made uh, in this data to the TSA, right? And it's uh, surprisingly large. So let's take a look at this. Uh, so so we have a uh, we have a set of data, and and that's in this uh, uh, in this file. Uh, that's that's the TSE claims, and again, it's a comma separated value file. All right. Uh, now, now we say that there are particular columns that are in, that we're interested in one, four, nine, ten, and eleven, and and that's you know counting at zero there. Uh, and and we are interested in you know we're looking at claims against the TSA. And so which ones got approved, which ones got settled, and which ones were denied. Okay, and, and you know, take a look at the data. One of the things to do is try and figure out, hey, what, what's the difference between approved and settled? What, what does that mean? All right, you gotta, you gotta figure that out. Uh, and, and then we're gonna be interested in what is the average of the settlement amount that's done. And again, we, we uh, uh, you know, we, we provide some uh, guidelines there. Uh, now, our structure here is uh, at this point pretty familiar. Uh, we open a file, we read the file, and, and that returns a list of tuples, and that's our good data. So, so that, that, that's where we do it. And we, we point out some, some things here to uh, watch out for. Uh, once we now we have the data, uh, the next thing that that we have you do is uh, process it. So so we take the data from you know that we've read in a bunch of tuples, and, and that's what goes into uh, uh, this function, and we calculate the total. And we we tell you how to do that. We calculate an average, and we put some constraints on that find the biggest claim and where that was, and then also create three lists. Again, we're fixing that this is from 2002 to 2009 there. And when we're done, we return a tuple, and we take that tuple and uh, we display that. Uh, and then after that, we will plot it, but we only plot it if our prompt returns yes. And that, that get, yeah, that's because we can't plot on mirror mirror. So, so we put that, uh, you know, that, that that prompt in there to uh, uh, let let you see that. So the way to, you know, one way to look at this is, uh, 
Let me make this a, uh, uh, a little bit smaller here. Yes, there we go. Um, so, so one way you can look at this is that we open a file and that returns a file pointer. We take that file pointer and that is now the input to the read file function, which returns a list of tuples. That becomes the input into the process data and that returns a tuple and that tuple becomes the input into the display data. So, so you can see this, this cascade here of open a file, we take that data, send it into read file, and then we process it, and then we, delay, then we uh, display it. Uh, and and that's, that's sort of the structure of this. If we, uh, you know, if, if you actually uh, take a look at the data itself, just even at this high level, you can see that there's, uh, you know, there, there's some weirdness in there, uh, in the, the, you know, the kinds of data that's there, and you know, one column runs into another, and and there are some rows that have incomplete data, uh, so so there's a bunch of of messiness to deal with, and uh, this file has. I, I don't remember the exact number, but maybe 160,000 rows in it. So it's a pretty good size uh, file of data, uh, and and we end up ignoring I don't know 40 or 50,000 rows in there because they don't meet, uh, you know, they don't meet the constraints that that we put on this. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an overview. Uh, th this is another project with lists. And that should give you enough to get going. Good luck.